Hello, I want to teach you a little bit about subject verb pairs. Let me get my whiteboard opened up and we'll do some um, subject verb pairs together. Oh, that is not what I wanted to do. Well, let me do this the right way. Okay, um, you probably already know what a verb is. It's something that somebody does or something that something does um, or something or it can show show possession. So like I have, I own, I possess, have, own, and possess are verbs. Um, but usually, if we're especially if we're talking about action verbs, there is something that somebody does or that something does. Okay, so like he slept. Slept is the verb. Um, she cried. Cried is the verb. Um, grandpa baked a cake. What did he do? He baked. That's the verb. Um, Michelle ran to the park. What did Michelle do? She ran. So those are verbs. Let me see. I wonder. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to double space these so that I can mark the verbs. And then let me put this here. All right, so here's a verb. Here's a verb. Here's a verb and here's a verb right here. Okay, so those are verbs, those are things that we do. Um, like I said, you can also have a few more like um, I possess um, a car. All right, so possess is also a verb. Okay. Now, so you're good on verbs probably by this point, uh, not just from this video, but from other videos or from other classes. And so now you need a subject verb pair. It's pretty easy. Who did the verb? You, usually that's what it is, unless it's a passive verb, which you'll probably learn later. So who slept? He slept. So this is the subject. Who cried? She cried. That's the subject. Who baked? Grandpa baked. That's your subject. Who ran? Michelle ran. That's the subject. Who possesses? I possess. So that's your subject. Um, now, sometimes it gets a little tricky because one person will do two things. Um, or one, let's, it doesn't have to be a person. The lizard uh, relaxed and basked oops, in the sun. Okay, so the lizard did two things. We know it's the lizard that's doing it, so he's the subject of the sentence. But he did two things. So both of those verbs go with the one subject. Or you might have two people or things doing one thing. Richard and Sally played together. Okay, it's two people doing one thing. So Richard and Sally are both the subjects and verbs that they only did the one thing. So two subjects go with one verb. Okay. Um, this might be considered a subject verb pair because you have a subject and two verbs that go with the one subject. This also might be considered a subject verb pair because you have two subjects and one verb that goes with the subject. But if you have Richard saying, while Sally snoozed, let me make this a bit wider so that I can get that on one line. All right, Richard saying is one subject verb, but Sally snoozed is something completely different. It's another subject verb pair because Richard didn't snooze and Sally didn't sing. So this is one subject verb pair, one person doing one thing. And here is another one, one person doing one thing. Let me see, is that all you need to know? Your subject is always either going to be a pronoun like he or she, or it's going to be a noun. Grandpa, Michelle, Lizard, Richard, Sally. Those are all nouns. Um, doesn't have to be a person, so it could be a lizard. It doesn't even have to be alive. The rock um, lasted for thousands of years. Okay, so what did the rock do? The rock lasted. So the rock is your subject and lasted is the verb. Now you will get into passive verbs eventually, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Um, 
Yeah, I don't think I will. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Hopefully this helps you a lot. Bye.